Nashville's Rock Station 1029, the local buzz. How you doing? I am Tony Stone, 737-1029. Hang on to that number. You can use it right now to get in requests. You can use that number to give my guest a call. And you can also use that number coming up, I'd say, uh, in less than 30 minutes for a chance to score passes to go and see Leo Gunn in the first ever local buzz session. But right now, I am joined with my guest. I've got the guys from Crypt Colin in the studio. What's up with you guys? What is it? What's up? Hey guys, uh, go around the room. Introduce yourself to our listening audience. I'm Shay Shanko. I'm the drummer of Cryptic Colin. I'm Clay Zimmerman. I play bass. And I'm James Robbins. I do vocals and guitars. Very cool. Guys, glad to have you in tonight. Uh, it is your your first appearance here in our local Buzz Studios. I've been waiting for some time to get you in. Now you're finally in, so let's find out a little bit about Cryptic Colin. What's up? What's up with the guys? How'd you get together? What what started the whole thing of you guys wanting to make music and making Cryptic Calling the band that it is today? Uh, well, James and I were actually going to uh, audio engineering school together. And uh, like the probably one of the last projects that we had done in school was creating a EPK and getting a band thing together. And we used his name in the material that he had been writing for years and he had recorded and I actually kind of dug it and was looking for a band to play in and I convinced him to kind of put something together and for a long time it was just the two of us and doing acoustic things here and there and eventually we added the third wheel and <laughs> and then we we got it together man it all play got involved it sounds like you said you settled for james <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm good with that whatever it's better than nothing i guess <laughs> so so how long have you guys been together as a as a unit uh one year now i think yeah <laughs> the three of us a uh, year as a full man but right. two years i think for you and me Shane. yeah something like that Okay, so when you guys got together, um, I know you said you were doing your own recording uh, in yes. school. So is that what you did as far as the album, when you are the EP that you guys recorded? Is that recorded from yourselves in your own studios, or did you uh, branch out and grab somebody else to help you guys out that with was, it? That was all us. We're all about doing as much as we possibly can on our own. Yeah. Um, and a lot of that was, what, some of it was recorded in his bedroom and point and then we had also we did uh like a rehearsal studio stuff mm -hmm. like that it was uh you know we went to school to learn how to do this stuff and we're all about it like right now we've, we've moved out of our old studio and we're building one right now and um you know it's where we plan to record the album and do everything and a lot of the stuff all that ep was mainly james and i so. Yeah, you can't waste thirty thousand dollars, so put it right. some good use. <laughs> yeah, right. right. Where'd you guys go to school? Uh, IADT. Okay, very cool. So you got the whole recording down. You love it. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely, yeah. man. It's, it's a uh, separate passion. I hate yeah. it. I hated it. <laughs> I tell you, I did it, man. I did it for like three years, and it drove me nuts. It, I, it's I had not to run as away. bad whenever you're doing everything yourself i mean of course you'll have arguments with it you know you're gonna have that being arguments with yourself yeah, yeah. that too <laughs> is very plenty of the drum sound. yeah so i'm very picky about it but it's 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 better that you already know the guys and you know you're able to take care of all that stuff yourself so so do you guys do all the writing yourselves yes yeah 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 totally we're all about originals and uh, I mean, we're definitely starting to get into covers and everything now, so, you know, we're able to do longer sets and stuff being right. a year and a half together. It's hard to have a three-hour set of all originals, you know, starting out, but <laughs> yeah, of we, course. we're more than two-thirds of that, so it's not that bad. So, uh, you guys recorded the whole EP. Um, I've got the self-titled EP. I took a listen to it. I, I dig it. I dig everything that's on it. Um do you have a place that people can go right now, either purchase it, get their hands on either a physical copy, a downloadable copy? Sadly, we don't. I mean, it's really coming out to one of the shows to pick one up. Um, it's we, we weren't quite sure what we wanted to do with it mm -hmm. as far as like iTunes and all that kind of stuff. Cause, um, but definitely, I mean, come out to one of our shows. We always have them for $5.00. Um, or if you know one of us, give us a call. We'll probably drive out to wherever you are and <laughs> yeah. hand them out. Easily. Or you can look us up on Facebook and we'll just mail you a copy. You can do that too. Yeah. Or you can just okay. listen to it on Facebook. Yeah. You don't that have too. to buy it, but we <laughs> prefer you do. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, so this guy, this is the first venture for 
Cryptic Calling, the first EP. Do you guys plan on putting out something new sometime soon? Yes. Yeah. We're thinking, what, starting March? Yeah. Um, normally we like to, because we're writing so much new material and everything, we're demoing everything first, copyright stuff and right. everything like that. But um, to make sure that it's what we want recorded and what we want to put out there with our name on it. So um, we're going to be... Uh, Probably March, we'll end all the demoing and start recording for the album. You are doing a full? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt no, it's you, man. You doing a full length, or full you gonna album. full, yeah, full album, album this time? Album. Okay. Rock uh, your face off album. Yeah, <laughs> we, got, we got a lot of new material that I'm excited about. They actually haven't heard some of the stuff I've been lyrically writing on. So. Oh, so you've been doing something on her back? Well, yeah. Oh no. Oh. That's, a, that's the Somebody problem when you have to, one guy that can do everything. To do. <laughs> right, right. Somebody's got to do it all. <laughs> well, guys, I know I've been spinning this one, and uh, you know we've had a lot of positive feedback for this one. Um, Oshios, uh, you want to tell me a little bit about it as we're going into it? Yeah, that was, uh, I think, the one that kind of set you, made you want to do this one. Yeah, totally. Um, it, was, it was one I had lying around for a while, and I was really excited to hear what Shea brought to it as far as drumming goes. And, plays awesome bass skills <laughs> very so. very very cool well let's check it out right now i've got more from the guys from cryptic call and we're going to find out what their plans are coming up this spring but right now enjoy it it's oshios right here on the local buzz Nashville's Rock Station 1029, the local buzz cryptic calling right there. Uh, 23 is the name of that tune. Brand new stuff here on the local buzz. Right before that, take Captain the Captain with On My Way. Also heard some Lions for Real in there for you. Um, 737-1029. You want to score passes to go see Leo Gunn in the first ever local buzz sessions? Here's your chance. Going to take calling number nine right now on the buzz lines. Good luck to you, but while I'm doing that, I've still got the guys from Crypto Colin hanging out in the studio with me, and we're going to talk to them here for a few more minutes and also play another brand new tune. It's actually going to probably be their next new single, depending on what you think, because I want to hear your thoughts on it. So we'll do that here in just a few, but let's find out what else is going on with the guys uh, as far as shows, man. What, what you got going on for shows, man? The next show we have is uh, February 16th at uh, Jimmy's Bar and Grill in Lebanon. Um, it's actually going to be our first three-hour-long show. So we got... A three-hour-long show. We've got a bunch of covers planned out, um, some old acoustic stuff. I've had more originals than covers. More, we have more originals than covers. It's about half and half, actually. It's a bar, so you got to keep the drunks happy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's it, man. Yeah. Right? Take so, some Southern Rock and kick it. it. What, what kind of covers do you guys do? Uh, well, we got the notorious one. We actually do a cover of uh, Rick Astley's "Never Gonna Give You Up." People, love uh, and, yeah, it's okay. It's been a fan favorite, actually. We were surprised. Um, what else do we have? Some Nirvana, some Sealer, some new stuff, some old stuff. Um, then we throw it in with, uh, you know, like uh, "Eye of the Tiger." Yeah, yeah. And, uh, oh, really? Danger Zone. <laughs> yeah, Danger Zone. And, uh, <laughs> then we're gonna do some Garth Brooks' "The Dance." Yes. You know, twist that one up. Yes. Okay. And, Don't uh, put them all away. they got to come <laughs> to the show. Yeah, like, yeah, they're yeah. not going to sound like, you know, they'll be better, I promise. Be- <laughs> they're I'll good ta- songs I'll, already. I'll, right, be a right. I'll take, I'll take your word for it. I mean, hell, anything better than, than what Garth Brooks sounds like, I'm sure, is better than what Garth Brooks sounds like. Well, have you ever heard Garth Brooks with uh, some distortion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great. All right. Yeah. All right. So, so some of your covers, I guess, that's uh, some of the influences that you guys had. Oh yeah, we um like we're all all over the place when it comes to music. Um, you know, we try not to listen to one genre. You know, Shay and I both have kind of grew up a little bit with country, um, yeah, so rock, rock and metal. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah so what? Metal. Name some of your influences. My biggest one was uh, Queen when I was a kid. It was always Queen, and okay. I think that's where my diversity comes from because they weren't right. afraid to do anything. Nope. Fat bottom girls. Yeah. yeah you make fat that, bottom uh, bicycle race. You make that um, rock and roll go round. <laughs> yeah. You know? Um, you know, the Nirvana, Metallica. Um, what was your, yeah, Hootie and the Blowfish. Wasn't that yeah, yours? Yeah. Hootie? Uh, that one cracked on me up. Hootie and the Blowfish. There, there's Rucker? Yeah. yeah. There's Rucker. Okay. And then, uh, the Eagles and Kiss. And My, the- mine was Aha. Uh-huh. <laughs> you mean aqua <laughs> <laughs> all right that, that, hey, that's cool so um 
Well, <laughs> what's going on as far as shows? Uh, is, I mean, this one that you've got coming up, you said February 16th. 16th, yeah. And that's, uh, <laughs> where at again? Jimmy's Bar and Grill in Lebanon, Tennessee. In Lebanon. Uh, 18 up, 21 and up. 21 and up. 20 up. Yeah. Cover? And free no cover. cover. No cover. No cover. So a free show. Yes. yes free show. Sir. A three hour free show? Yeah. yeah. Wow. You gotta love it, people. I mean, you come on. For real. Get out there and check those guys. Um, so, you got big plans coming up for spring, summer, as far as getting out and playing? Yeah, uh, playing. We're trying to, really trying to line up a uh, a summer tour or something with, uh, actually, the guys in One Must Fall. Um, okay. We're real good friends with them. They're great guys and uh, love their music and their show. Their live show is awesome. Mm-hmm. And uh, trying, we're thinking about lining some stuff up with them and uh, trying to get something going on around Middle Tennessee. And who knows, it probably, you know, other places too. But uh, really we're focusing on the new album and everything for probably the next three months. Uh, it's been kind of slow the past two months, holidays and all like that. So we're getting uh, getting back into the transition, and we're going to start recording and getting that knocked out of the way, so then that way we're ready to do a bunch of shows come summer, probably sooner than that. Yes, we ha- we're hoping to have a cool show April 13th. 13th? April 13th, we think, out in more of the Tannersboro, yeah, tra- called Run For Your Lives. Look it up. It's a, it's a 5K, 5K yeah. where you're being chased by zombies. Nice. Yeah. So we're trying to get into that. Um, so we'll just see what happens. All right. Not, not real zombies. No, no. Don't scare the people. Well, okay. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> children, they may be. Children zombies. They're scary. <laughs> Guy always acts like a know-it-all. He does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's the basis. Hey, I'm the one that shed blood building our studio today. <laughs> <laughs> and I was all out of Door of the Explorer uh, <laughs> Band-Aid, so I had to use one of these Caucasian colored ones. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what's your live show like? Uh, all over the place. I mean, it's, it's it's a rock show, man. I mean, we're not, like, doing backflips or anything, you know, but <laughs> we just like a, you know, you a go, solid go, show, man. You go on and do what you love. I mean, if you have a bad night, you have a bad night, but in the end, it's just all for the love of music. That's, that's all, yeah, that's why we do it, man. And just don't matter what it is. We just want to play music, and we want, want everybody to hear it, you know. It's what we love doing. Very cool. Well, guys, uh, plug your uh, social sites one more one more time so people can uh, find you online. Facebook.com slash Cryptic Calling, uh, Reverb Nation. Uh, what else do we got? I think we still have MySpace. Yeah, okay. we have a Twitter account, but I don't. we don't know how to use it. Yeah, we're a little <laughs> slow on that one. Uh, <laughs> we're so, not up with that, sorry. The yeah. tweets and tweeter. We, we don't, we don't have all the book learning. <laughs> yeah. we, we don't have any cryptic tweeting going on yet so not yet we're not that important i mean come on uh facebook facebook's the best place to check us out okay well cool well guys thanks for coming in tonight uh get out and check the guys they're gonna be live february 16th out at jimmy's bar and grill in lebanon playing a three hour set set. yeah free free a free yeah free three hour set um this is more brand new music you want to want to tell me a little bit about this one as we go into it this is this is going to be Cryptic Collins' new single, by the way. I have a big feeling on that. This the first one that we wrote? Yeah, this was actually, I think, the first one that you and me wrote from scratch. Yeah, um, together. So yeah. It, it, it holds a special place in my heart. But, Mine, uh, too. <laughs> I get a little warmth inside, you know. Um. <laughs> Could be in yeah. But yeah. It's, a, it's a good song, you know. It's a good rocking out song. And, uh, like, the tempo is it's awesome. It's, you know, live, we love playing it. So. It's been our opener for a while. So. Yeah. The guys... Appreciate you coming in. Get out and catch them live. Here you go right now. Brand new stuff from Cryptic Colin on the local buzz. Okay. 